Hey guys, so I've been asked uh, a number of times to do an overview video of ASU Film School. I want to keep this super informative yet concise, so if I don't mention something in this video, odds are I probably mention it in my blog post, which is linked in the description below. If then you have questions or certain things I didn't mention, let me know in the comments below and I'll try to answer them. Alright, let's get started. So congrats if you got into the ASU Film School. Um, if you're interested and you want to know more, this is a really good video to watch. I'm going to go over the different programs, um, kind of the classes that you'll be taking and the opportunities available at ASU. So they currently have three film programs, technically two and one of them is an English program, but I'll go through them. If you're a film major, um, you're going in as of filmmaking practices and I know that sounds like FMP as like the acronym but it's not it's FPR and that's really important for you to understand kind of what the program is so just remember as a freshman you're automatically in the FPR program which is filmmaking practices I've heard that this one's more of a flexible degree where you can kind of just do what you want learn what you want you're not like necessarily always making films unless you want to, you're writing more papers, you're being more analytical. You don't have to do a capstone at the end of your senior year. You can, um, but I think you can also just do an internship if you want to. So this is the major that a lot of people choose that don't necessarily want to be directors or cinematographers or editors or producers. They don't necessarily want to be on set. I've heard people say like, oh, that's major for managers, agents. After a year and a half or two years, depending on like the classes that you take and the number of credits that you have, you're allowed to apply for the film and media productions program. So just to give you guys a little bit of background on me, I did FMP, which is film and media productions. So I know a lot more about that program than any of the other programs. Film and media productions is more uh, focused on production. So if you want to be a producer, a director, an editor, a DP, a gaffer, um, anything on set, really this is the program for you because you'll learn how to be on set, you'll be making your own films, um, you'll learn about directing. Even if you won't want to direct, you'll learn about the art of directing. You'll be working on capstone films, which I've kind of gone over in a different video, so check that one out if you want to know more about capstones. Um, but it's your final project that you work on. There's a whole application process and I can definitely talk about that in my blog. Um, it's a little lengthy so I'm not going to necessarily talk about that in this video. Once you get in, you're in one cohort which is, you know, 17, 20, 25, maybe even 30 different people that you're going to be with for the entire duration of your college career after that. And so these people tend to get really, really close because um, you're always working on projects together, you're always in class together. Every um, major class of the semester you're taking with just those people. Those are the two programs and then there's FMS which isn't really a film program. It's not in the Herberger School, I don't think. I think it's more in the English School. And that's the program where a lot of writers or people that want to be uh, critics or anything more analytical, they do that. But they do focus on film, like, uh, you know, gender um, film classes, race film classes, things like that. And I did take a couple of FMS classes for, like, electives, which they're fun, but I didn't really get too involved with that FMS program. There's, you know, two film organizations on campus. There's the AFA program, and then there's Hollywood and Leeds Tempe. There's this new thing starting uh, as ASU Film Spark, which is really brand new, so I don't know too much about it. There are two editing labs, green screens, um, rooms that you can use. There's several black rooms that you can use, uh, all kinds of different things that you can get your hands on if you really wanted to. There's equipment, there's the cage, which is in the APMA building, which has a plethora of equipment, but you need to know how to use it, you need to have taken your production class to be able to use it. The professors at ACU are awesome, they really want to see you succeed. You know, are open to new ideas, since the school is 10 years old, you know, I've heard of different professors kind of, you know, trying to help students 
make new kinds of projects or new kinds of films or blend apartments together. You know, they're really open to anything. I didn't go through the whole filmmaking practices, so I really can't attest to what you do there. I've just heard from people that you don't necessarily make that many films. So that's the difference that I've seen that may be a negative for some people. But that also brings me to the question, why don't you just make your own films? You have the facilities, you have the equipment available to you, you have the locations available to you, you have the actors and the crew available to you. So if you really want to, just make them on your own. And what I'm trying to say is, film school is going to be what you make it no matter where you go. If you go to ASU, you're going to get the classes that you pay for, but don't let that be the only thing that you get out of it because you can do so much more. So that is that on this overview. I hope it was helpful and like I said, check out the blog post below which will have a lot more information on this topic. The bed, I'm not kidding, it's like life size. Those beds are tiny. It's so small, they're twin beds and like you want to fit all your all your friends on it for a sleepover and you can't. That just doesn't it can't it doesn't work. It's too small.